I've always found things like maps and schematics and instruction manuals interesting. How a thing is constructed, its structural integrity. I love the idea of almost over-engineering something, where I could make a painting that could be physically abused, where I could use it for a shelter if I had to, something that you could drag around and it would survive. Making an extremely oversimplified painting is also something that really interests me. A series of blunt references to things like the tradition of landscape painting, to distance and depth, the way I used those ideas when I was a kid. I've always loved just writing letters and numbers on things. Sometimes I'm doing it because it feels good, and sometimes I'm using a specific letter because of the sound that it makes. Like when I say the letter R in my mind, I always think of pirates. Sewing things together became a big part of my work several years ago. We bought our daughter a sewing machine so she could sew her own stuffed animals. And she did that for a while and then became kind of disinterested in it. So I started experimenting with the machine to edit paintings. I was cutting out sections of paintings that I didn't like or sewing back in pieces of a painting that did work and using the machine as an editing tool. And so that stuck around for a while and it's been a big part of my work since then. I view this new body of work as sort of like a distillation of a lot of the different types of paintings I've made over the past few years. An extreme simplification of a lot of the chaotic and rambunctious energy that was put into a lot of my previous work. I'm very interested in determining if it's possible for me to compress all of that information down into this ultra simplistic flattened field of reference to maybe the strategies that I had used in previous ideas, almost like instruction manuals for how I've thought about painting for the past few years.